So much for coming, guys. Hey, today we're gonna be watching My Hero Academia season four, episode eighteen, school for school festival or episode eighty one. I started watching My Hero Academia like season one, episode one uh, last year, I think sometime in July. But then I thought, dude, I have a lot of you know episodes to catch up to to read the current My Hero Academia, so I stopped recording it. And I binge watched, not actually binge watched, but I, you know, started watching it so that I can catch up. And I've caught up. I am like to the latest episode. It got dropped, I think, yesterday. So yeah, this will be fun. But before we begin, the subscribe button right here. Just click on it and click on the notification bell so that you can be notified and updated whenever I post something new, bro. Come on, just do it. I'm a waiter. Just go and click subscribe, okay? You done? Good. Now click on the notification bell too. And now, without waiting any further, let's begin My Hero Academia season four, episode eighteen or episode eighty-one, school festival in three, two, one, go! Here we go, My Hero Academia season four, episode eighteen or episode eighty-one, school festival. Dude, it's been a while since I did anything other than Haikyuu, you know, <laughs> so it's gonna take me a while to adapt to it. All might! Kinda reminds me of Captain America. A little bit. If Captain America was bigger, you know, huge, and kinda always smiling and happy. It's a good anime. Super serious sometimes, and then it becomes like super happy. Like I think last episode, right? The guy who shoots laser with his navel, he was talking Midoriya. <laughs> Go beyond plus ultra. But I don't know how this is gonna end or oh, when it will end because uh, I keep watching, you know, these videos on YouTube about My Hero Academia, and people commented that, <laughs> like people who watch manga commented that, oh man, they have no idea what's gonna happen. I think they were talking about the incident that happened at All Might Sidekick, you know, he died. That was, dude, that was emotional. Damn, bro. But it also, you know, it also kind of made me, not made me, but it's like you are the master of your own fate. You know, if you want to change the future, you can. No matter if someone says no, they have seen your future. That's what happened with Deku, you know, who... Um, I think Naira, that was his name, Naira, he saw that Deku was gonna die, but then Deku didn't die. He actually conquered him with 100% of his quirk, all for one for all. Damn. That, that was really uh, inspirational, you know, that he actually changed the future. But I'm still kind of worried about All Might. Because All Might, he said that All Might will die horribly while fighting a villain. I don't know when it's going to come to it. I sure as hope not. I love All Might. So I don't want him to go, you know, in like a super gruesome way. Ah, uh, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's begin. Oh, nice. Oh, damn. Go, she got some moves, yo. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Look at him. <laughs> Dude, she's an incredible answer. Oh, the poor one boy is here. <laughs> Do I actually want to see how the invisible girls look like? You know, how how does she actually look like? He's a whole bunch of He's still a... <laughs> I love that dude, man. But you'll try break dancing, really? <laughs> dude, Deku is such a, you know. I love him. He is very unconventional hero, not like all the heroes that you've ever seen. He's really unconventional. <laughs> You gotta love them, bro. <laughs> Who? Oh, what's her hobby? Music? I'm pretty sure it's music. Dude, she must be a badass at music, I'm sure. 
Why was she shy, man? I mean, I'm pretty sure she would be a badass. Like, you have seen her play Gira, right? Badass. Like, incredibly awesome. <gasps> What's his hobby? I'm curious about her. I'm curious about everyone's hobby. <laughs> School festival. School festival is that? Yeah, school festival. <laughs> Dude, I love him, bro. <laughs> You raise her head, I can't get in a oven. <laughs> All that with his eye drops and sleeping back everywhere I go, dude, I love that. It's because, do you remember his fight, his entire body he had and when he was fighting that guy? That was impressive. Yeah, it's about everyone else too. He's slowly zipping it up and then he's heading back to sleep. I love that dude, the dude in purple hair. I love it. And also that girl, she helped Deku. She helped Deku. But I'm not sure about the guy with that hair. All of the students will be involved, or just for the school, so no outside people, no outside people. <laughs> he's slept down, he's ready to sleep. Yeah, here we go, here we go! <laughs> oh man, his energy, his energy. He's so extra, man. Not extra, he's so ultra. <laughs> we will raise a... <laughs> Look at the animation back there. All of that. <laughs> Mate Cafe, dude. I could have imagined that's what he was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that was dark, buddy. That was dark. <laughs> oh, yeah, petting zoo. Okay. <laughs> so, but, <laughs> dude, Bakugo, <my> bro. <laughs> I'm a twinkling show. Is he actually sleeping? I think he's listening to what they're saying. So, I'm gonna narrow it down. Okay, let's see what's gonna happen. Dude, I'm really excited and curious to see what they choose. <laughs> yeah, he said it. <laughs> oh, the spirit of that. <laughs> when I was so hot, I thought that she would be more, you know, sonata type, sonata from Naruto. No one is listening to him. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and they are gonna start a leap. <laughs> yeah, you are listening. <laughs> that was a really logical meeting. You are listening. Dude, dude, dude! <laughs> Public lecture. Look at his face. <laughs> I don't think he was joking. Look at his eyes. That was super intense. <laughs> <laughs> 
publicly like Jabila just got a lot them steady do i really want to is to do it man <laughs> okay sleeping so they're going to do something the hero course is going to do something about you know the assistant court or oh, all the other courses Then what? Then what? No, by the way, I'm really bad at names, just so you know. What do we get? I think you should combine all of these three areas together. That'll be fun. You'll learn like Disneyland or Universal Studios. Keep everything together. There'll be zoo performances, cafes. <laughs> What's he gonna say? What's he gonna write? What's he gonna write? Oh, a concert! Oh, so it's. <laughs> Party people. <laughs> they leave two other courses. So it will be a rock concert. So ultimately, it's gonna land on that girl with, you know, those ears. <laughs> I freaking love that, bro. That shot. I love it. <laughs> the dance is fun. <laughs> What's he gonna do? Yeah, they are gonna point to her, bro. <laughs> No, what? Is she shy? Does she have like a straight stage fright or something? You kidding me, bro? Zero. Dude, it's gonna be awesome. Who doesn't love someone who can play instruments and, you know, just get the whole crowd pumping? Exactly, bro. That's what I'm saying. Come on, Jiro. Let's do it, girl. Come on, girl. Pump it up, bro. Look at the music in the background. It's like something heroic is gonna happen. I think she's gonna, obviously she's gonna do it. I can't hold back! <laughs> Rocking it <all. laughs> Oh, YouTube, YouTube. Yeah, I remember him, I remember seeing him. His face. Oh, how's she doing? How's she doing? Peaches. I got you like a peach. <laughs> Because they saved her life. Like, you know, even though they both were on the verge of dying. She wants to, because no one actually cared about her that much like these two, so.
I don't know how it could happen like that. They both risk their lives. She's so cute. Nairai, Bori, you are a real man, Nairai. Dude, imagine a little girl and holding that much guilt inside of her. You gotta love Le Million, man. Le Million, whatever. Togara so. What a thing to say, man. They wanted to save you because they want to see you smile. <laughs> She's so cute. She tried to smile. Did you see her legs and hands that cut because of that bastard who did that? How do you smile again? Dude, that was too dark, bro. That's too freaking dark. I fucked Yusaki. Like, look at her arms and legs, all the cuts, and how do you smile again? They're gonna invite her to the. I think they should invite her to the school festival. That will make her smile, school festival. Or maybe his class, the entire class. Is, she, is he gonna do that? I mean, it, but here's the thing. I think the story can be. I think he's gonna invite her, but then I think the League of Villains, what if they find out that she is out there and then they come at her again? That can happen. There's a huge possibility that can happen. I think that's where the story is going right now. Ah, he got it, he got it, school festival! Dude! <laughs> this is great, look at the music, man, it suddenly became, you know, so lighthearted and cheerful and happy. It's not just dark, it's not that dark, it's just suddenly, you know, cheerful feeling. Dude, My Hero Academia, it's dark, it's funny, it's cheerful, it gives you hope. It kind of changes your perception about certain things, like making your own destiny, you know? I create what I want, like my future I want. I love it, that's better. <laughs> She's drooling. Say yes, go. Come on, Harry. Now you can, you can know about their friends too, man. You can know actually about the real world, the hero's world. Come on, princess, say yes. Come on, buddy, don't be a downer. Intimate, <laughs> that's kind of weird. Yeah, that's kind of, yeah, that's kind of weird, bro. Come on, back off a little. 
The guy with white hair, blue eyes. He kind of this. He kind of reminds me of Joker from The Dark Knight. The background music, the use of the knife, like a magician from you know classical movies and Joker combined. <laughs> what a cool, what an easy way of kind of you know luring people. And he makes his own video. She she didn't kill anyone, right? No okay. case. Let's see his uh, quirk. Gentle, that's his name. La Brava Gero. <laughs> Look at his face. Look at his face. So they made the entire video La Brava and Gentle. <laughs> that's why it is up as oh. A cool looking dude, a little cool looking dude. What was his quirk again? What was his quirk? Cut this part because he doesn't want to show his quirk. The entire convenience store is wobbling. So is it like he can mold reality, control reality? Is that it? I'm paying the price. So he consider himself a uh, he considers himself a showman. But what's your goal, buddy? Come on, general. As the greatest villain. Anyway, so it's kind of like oh. Until the next. <laughs> Wait, so he doesn't kill people. I'm pretty sure the heroes are not there. So he doesn't kill people. He doesn't draw for money. He wants to go on and see. But I'm pretty sure he must be having some kind of master plan, a background, you know. But his quirk, I think he can bend reality a little bit. You see that wobbly convenience store? I think that can happen. La Brava. <laughs> it's all about the views, bro. <laughs> convenience stores are too small. Yeah, you have to accomplish even a greater feat. What is he gonna do? Wait, is he gonna go into UA? Dude, there's so many permutations and combinations. He's not even pouring the tea, bro. <laughs> what is he doing? I'm not sure. Is he a villain? Is he a hero? Is he an anti-hero? What's gonna happen? So the, the way he's seen as scheme will come soon and they shoot <laughs> into his eyes. <laughs> that's all. <laughs> so say so he was uh, talking about, you know, a greater scheme that's gonna happen, right? And in the background they showed Midoriya, Togara and Eri. And they're gonna take him they're gonna take her to the school festival. So I think he's gonna hit school festival because it's like, you know, where heroes train and they are like, you know, hero faculty in that, in that school. So that will be his greater feat, I think, a greater scheme. But I also think what if the League of Villains find out about it and they also hit it at the same time? Because that has happened before too. League of Villains going after Midoriya again and again. But they were after All Might too. But there are so many different permutations and combinations, man. What exactly is gonna happen? But I think I predicted it a little bit. I'm not sure that it's 100% accurate or not. But I think I predicted it a little bit. Like I, like every child going to school festival, something big will happen at the school festival or maybe after the school festival. But something related to the school festival, every gentle criminal and League of Villains. But I'm not sure whether League of Villains will actually come. Because they introduced right now a uh, gentle criminal. So I think it can happen. General Criminal. Is that name taken from Michael Jackson's Smooth Criminal? Yeah, you know, and are you okay? And are you okay? Are you okay, Annie? 
I think <laughs> general criminal is makes of like you know using knife like the Dark Knight Joker. Okay, preview, preview. The gentle criminal, gender criminal, he also mentioned, they call some the gender criminal. Pause Ultra! Yeah, so I think it can happen, you know. Because he also talked about gentle criminal. And if you remember, like, all the story, everything that we are seeing right now, Deku has already become, like, you know, the greatest hero of all time. And he, this is his story. Because he was like in the previous seasons too, you can see that he was narrating that this is what happened, this is how this happened, this is how I became the greatest, you know, hero. So he's narrating how this is his story, this is his path of becoming, you know, the best. So I get it, so um, Gentle Criminal is gonna somehow gonna appear in school festival, I think. I know, because even Deku said it. Oh! Man, oh man, so many possibilities, you know. And a note about Gentle Criminal, he is kind of, like I said earlier in the video, he's kind of mixed. He's, you know, like old magicians, you know, with top hat and like, you know, um, I'm forgetting his name, that mask, what's his name, the, November, you know, never forget the 5th of November, something, something about that V from Vendetta movie, the guy with mustache a little bit. He has that kind of appearance, incredible blue eyes. And he's kind of like Dark Knight Joker, you know, using knife, but he actually doesn't want money and he didn't kill anyone. I'm pretty sure that those heroes are not dead. And his quirk, he said, got that part, so I think he doesn't want heroes to know his quirk, so that because if they know the quirk, they can strategize, you know, they can make strategies on how to stop the rental hero. But if you don't know what a guy's quirk, then you're gonna be taken in for surprise, and they were like four or five heroes. And they were all gone, like they didn't, I think. If the heroes put up a fight, like a good fight against Gentle Criminal, there would have been some kind of, you know, collateral damage in the background, but there wasn't. It was just a convenient store, you know, wobbly dancing. So I think he can kind of, either, I can, either he can change the structure of the physical infrastructure, like, you know, the infrastructure he touches, or he can kind of bend reality, or something, you know, interdimensional or something. I mean, that's what I'm thinking. That's my guess. That's like my wildest guess guess right now. But it, overall, it was a fun episode. You know, the music was good. It went dark. It went dark in between. I thought when they showed preview of this episode last week, I thought it was going to be, you know, all fun. Like, all really cool. But the scene with Eri, and it's good that... But I don't think it's good. It, you can make argument for both that they didn't tell about Night Eye's death to Eri because she's kind of shouldering everything that happened, you know. And she's such a little girl and she's shouldering all that guilt on herself. But if you're not telling her right now and you're gonna find out later, then isn't that kind of like, you know, betraying her trust that you should have told me before? Like, it can go either ways. You're saving her right now, she's gonna find out later or tell her right now. So it's like, you know different things and there's no right or <laughs> wrong answer for you know when situations like this arise but that scene was dark when they showed a close-up because chisaki or whatever the whatever his name is that bastard name you know i hate that dude for doing that whatever he did to eri but you know when they showed her the close-up the arms and her legs they were cut off because he was using her to make that drug and when she said that she doesn't remember how to smile, like, dude, she's just a little girl, bro, like, damn. But then it suddenly became all happy, you know, because Midoriya had this brilliant idea that we should invite her to the school festival. And it, obviously, I think, <laughs> sorry, dropped the bottle. I think she's going to be a little bit safe because it's school, you know, the <laughs> hero for uh, school for heroes, like, you know, upcoming heroes, heroes in the making, training and their assistants, you know, class B and also faculty, the principal, everyone's going to be there. So I think uh, it's going to be a really difficult task for gentle criminal to hit on the school. He's going to do it, obviously, because it's going to be a big news that someone did it. But I think it's going to be a big task. But here's the thing. Harry Chan is still, you know, emotionally vulnerable, Harry. So if something happens, then I think she can go a little out of control. Because right now she's fine. But like Midoriya said or Deku said, you know, the Tisaki, he still has his grip on her. 
But I think school festival is gonna change that. You know, she'll meet new people and it will all be awesome. Can't wait for the next episode, man. Can't wait for the next episode. They're gonna be prepping. Let's see what happens. But thank you for watching. There's a subscribe button right there. You know, just click on it and click on your notification bell so that you can be notified and updated whenever I post something to you. And thank you again so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I really appreciate the support. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, be happy and be a freaking badass.